The fascinating thing about stem cells and macrophages is that these cells develop very early, and we simply don't yet understand what these cells do in the embryo. Elvira Maas is a developmental biologist whose research focuses on a type of cell in the immune system that for a long time attracted little attention, macrophages. These highly phagocytic cells degrade and break down dying and dead cells, bacteria and viruses. Through her research, Maas has shown that these specialized immune cells do not originate from stem cells in bone marrow, as previously thought but rather from precursor cells in the yolk sac at the very start of embryonic development. This type of macrophage can even help to maintain people's health throughout their lives. However, these vital functions can also be impaired. Moss suspects that damage to this first wave of immune cells at an early embryonic stage could lead to pathological changes to the developing organs. The cause? microplastics that we consume in our food. These microplastics are made up of plastic particles just several hundred nanometers in size. They're produced by things like tire wear particles and degraded plastic waste in bodies of water entering the food cycle through agricultural fertilization and other means. Due to their minute size, these plastic particles can travel through the placenta of a pregnant woman and enter the bloodstream of the developing embryo. We know that certain factors like environmental pollution or the diet of the mother has an influence on the offspring, that certain diseases can develop there. But we don't yet know which cells are responsible. Our idea is that these long-lived macrophages are the messengers, meaning they carry the message from one generation to another. In model experiments with microplastics and mice, changes were identified in the brain and liver, which allowed researchers to draw conclusions about the activation of macrophages. These changes could in turn lead to neurodegenerative or metabolic diseases over the long term. However, Moss and her team are working to determine exactly how these processes and changes occur. As part of this research, they're examining individual brain cells in mice that have been given microplastics and analyzing the differences with mice fed a microplastic free diet. Our research at the moment is basic research. We want to understand certain molecular biological processes. For example, what happens when plastic gets into the body, in this case into the body of a mouse. Through our basic research, we aim to show society how dangerous plastic can be so that we might change our behavior as a result. But only when we as scientists understand how dangerous plastic really is in the body, in the organism, only then can decisions be made.